What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk versus Chaz Witherspoon. The fight was stopped in seven rounds after Chaz could not continue. He was out of gas. He was outworked. He was outpunched. He was his eyes were starting to swell, and it was a beautiful night of boxing. Let's start from the first round. First round, it was a fill out round. Uh, Chaz came in poised. That's one thing I noticed about him. He didn't do a lot of moving. However, we know Usyk, you know, does a lot of pivoting and, and, and fighting off from different angles. He was trying to find different angles to punch him. And he actually got his pound of flesh early. He received a, a, a good right hand from Chaz Witherspoon that kind of made him stumble back a little bit. He might have been tripped up, but he did land a punch. And that right hand landed on Usyk. And that was one of the things, that was one of the questions that I was looking for. You know, like, hey, how can he take a punch at heavyweight? You know, I know this guy's punching power is, you know, he has 28 knockouts to his credit, 38 wins, three losses, now four, okay? But, you know, this guy can bang. It's not like he can't punch, okay? He was a big, sturdy Philadelphian, Philly fighter, tough, you know, and he landed that shot. Uh, that was working for him for a while, but Usyk kept working. Usyk kept, he kept probing. OK, he kept probing. He put the pressure on. He started throwing out that jab as a range finder, you know, uh, looking for angles, getting closer while he was throwing that jab. People, that's one thing about Usyk. He keeps working and he keeps inching forward. OK, and then as soon as you think he's inched forward enough and you throw that right, he's already out of position. That's the thing about Usyk. He's either going to get out of position or he's going to dip to his left. OK, to avoid that, to, to avoid any punch you really have, Just, you know, especially. Him southpaw, you know, and he's, you're coming in with that right, you know, so he's going to dip, you know, or he's going to dip to the left or the right if he can, you know. And now if you're looping with something, he might step back because he doesn't know what you're doing. OK, so Usyk was really smart on that. He did take he did get some punches tagged. I think in the fourth round he received uh, about the third or fourth round. Uh, Chaz was able to make his nose bleed, you know, that that would made him kind of worry, you know, uh, fiddle with his nose a little bit. But he kept working. He was relentless in there. He kept on jabbing, you know, fighting in spots like he knew how to do. Chaz was still poised, though. He didn't lose his cool. He never lost his cool and just said, you know what, screw it, balls to the wall, and start throwing, you know, uh, uh, haymakers. You know what I mean? Uh, Usyk was very controlled in a sense. It was almost like aggressive, uh, aggressive control. He knew he, he did the same thing in, in similar to uh, Bayou. You know, he figured out what you had and what you had after he figured out what you had, he then went forward. OK, and he started applying the pressure, started throwing uh, lefts to the body of Witherspoon, taking gas out of the tank. Of course, we know Witherspoon was, a re you know, a replacement. OK, but nonetheless, he was working him surely, you know, and it was a constant it was a constant aggression attack. OK. It was very it was very systematic the way he was doing it, you know, and he would jab, jab, jab. Then the other guy tries to counter with a right. He's out of position. Then he comes right back to that position, you know, or he might come back in another position, you know. But it, it was some beautiful display of boxing and punching, you know, because Usyk knew, OK, let me put the pressure on. But he knew when to apply the pressure. It wasn't just, OK, let me think it's time. No, he knew exactly when. The, with the spoon was out of gas, just like Bell. You Bell, you started running out of gas around the seventh and eighth round, and that's how it happened to him. It just, it just, just uh, Bell. You got knocked out. With the spoon, quit. Why? Because his again, his eye was starting to swell. He started getting hit with combinations, flush. You know, he was going back, and Usyk then established that distance. So when Chaz was started to go back, he would go back with him because he knew where he was going. You know, and it's a hell of a thing when you're leaning back. Or you're trying to evade and you're still getting punched. OK, <laughs> there's nothing like that. You have to be punched with those type of punches to know what I'm talking about. OK, so he was starting to get hit with punches even when he eluded Usyk. OK, but um, it was a good barometer. I'm glad that Usyk got the rounds in because I think he was shaking off a little ring rust, honestly. And plus, it was still a possible recipe for disaster due to the fact this was supposed to be Tyrone Spung. Now, I would, however, 
you know, now that he's the WBO mandatory, I would want to see him in with someone like Tyrone Spung, someone that hasn't lost, someone that that doesn't know defeat just like himself. You know, this was a good display. I'm glad again that his promoter, Eddie Hearn, replaced him with someone formidable, you know, but it was other guys on the line. Let's face it. It was, you know, it wasn't a short, it wasn't a, a, a short list. It was a pretty decent list of people that wanted to fight Usyk. Okay. So, you know, uh, you know, you had uh, Joey DeWaco, then you had Tyrone Spung that of course, you know, today guys, you know, he said, well, uh, you know, he found out that uh, his drug test was uh, negative, his last one. So, Anyway, I counterpunched that for those who could hear that. But anyway, back to Usyk. Usyk was again in a pro Usyk crowd. He showed that he has the stamina, the skill, the size. Okay, he didn't look too small. At first, he did look a little small, though. He fought like he was a smaller guy. He almost fought like Pacquiao would fight a, a bigger guy. You know what I mean? But that gave him the advantage, I think, because he respected their size. See, a lot of people don't didn't really factor that in. Usyk knew I can't get in front of these guys and get and get these big punches taken to my face. You know what I mean? Flush because I don't know how I take them. Now we do, but again, this was against Chaz Witherspoon. What if that was Wilder or Fury or Joshua? Okay, or Ruiz. So these are guys that are possible opponents and future opponents for Alexander Usyk. So again, I am glad that Usyk has been officially welcomed into the heavyweight division. He had a um, a seventh round KO, or sorry, TKO, and he looks like he is a force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight division. You guys tell me what you think about Alexander Usyk's, Usyk's performance. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.